Good morning. Morning. What's that smell? Oh, I made you pumpkin butterscotch muffins. You did? Yeah. Hey, I just gotta say, last night was really special. You know, when we were making love, I kept visioning this flower. It was beautiful and pink and it was blossoming and it was just like opening up so wide. <laughs> oh, wow. That sounds graphic. <laughs> Did you sleep okay? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, because you looked like you slept great. I could not sleep a wink last night. So I just laid there and watched you sleep. You know, you snore like an angel. Okay. So I was a little drunk last night, but didn't we get here on your Harley? We did indeed. Hey, would you like a lavender latte? I make them myself. No, I'm good. Actually, you know what? I am late for work. I should get going. No, 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 no. I was hoping we could cuddle and like, watch The Notebook. Yeah, I really gotta go. Another time, okay? Dude, you're a genius. I did everything just like you told me to do. She ran out of here so fast. So what's up? Are we going out tonight again or what? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm done? I think you're making this out to be more a problem than it actually is. All right, I... And I'm not calling you a, a liar. Actually, you are calling me a liar. You're saying that I can just quit anytime I want. Yeah, it, it takes willpower. When's the last time you had one beer? I don't know, last week sometime? Exactly. I've never just had one. I've never stopped at five. Yes. But you could, if you really wanted no, to. No, I can't, because I'm an alcoholic. If I take one sip of that, I lose control. Why do you fight me on this? Because we're from the same family. We have the same mom and dad. Now, I know when I've had too much, but for some reason you've decided that you need an excuse. I decided? Do you think I decided to crash my car? That I decided to go to jail? That I decided like rehab was a, sounded like a good time? Yeah, I, th I think you decided, you chose to. And, and, and if you choose differently, I think you're gonna have a different outcome. You can't even let me be right about this. Because you're not right about this. You know what? Okay, I believe in you. Why can't you believe in you? But being born an alcoholic isn't a choice that I made. Okay, and it's not easy. I don't know why my own brother can't just accept me for who I am. I'm done talking about this. I can't do this any longer. I can't just sit by and watch my kids starve. So you want a gun? You think that'll fix it? I've tried everything I know how to do. I've sold everything we own. If there was another way I would do that, but I need money and I need it fast. Well, like, you know how this works, right, Dan? You get caught, you go to jail. Garrett grows up without his dad, period. He eats alone. I tell him I eat after he goes to bed, but I don't. I wrap him in extra blankets because they turn the power off, we don't have any heat. I lie to my kid's face every single day. You don't get what that feels like. Look, we're talking about a hard time. You've never done time, bro. I know I could go to jail for this, and then Garrett ends up in the system, but the social services is already on my ass trying to take him away. If I don't pay these bills and get this money, he's gone. Listen, I got you a gun, man. But do you even know how to use it? Yeah, I know how to use it. Yeah. I'm not gonna have to use it though. You can't predict that, Dan. You need me. 
all right? No, I'm not letting you come with. You're in enough trouble already. If you get caught, you're never getting out of jail. Look, man, this is my game. Let me help you, all right? We'll straighten up with the kid. We'll get this job done. And that's a wrap. All right, but you promised me nobody's gonna get hurt. We're not going to hurt anybody. Yeah. You got to promise me to stay out of the way.